Hi friends, today we're going to do the second coding meetup kata. It's called Higher Order Function Series Greet Developers. And as, as it says, it's the second of a series. And the task is rather simple. Uh, we are given a list of uh, objects and we have to extend every single object with a new property called greeting and this greeting has to be uh, it has to go something like this like hi first name what do you like most about and then write the language uh, of, of that object okay I mean programming language so let's let's get started and uh, as always Let's get started with the test. Uh, we have we have quite quite a lot in here, and as always, I am importing uh, the expect from the chai library. Just to make make it like absolutely clear, you don't have to do that. The tests work perfectly as they are right now. Just uh, I like to do that. I like to like change some things while doing tests. Uh, it give it gives me some time to like understand what is expected of me. What am I doing here? Okay. Uh, let's do the describe describe statement and I'm describing greet developers function all right I am going to have just one it statement because I just have one test right here and it works that list one it's very easy. We just have one list, so that's the only thing we can test. And to, to know if, it, if that works, I'm expecting greet developers given list one to be equal to uh, to the answer, right? Can you see a problem in here? Uh, this test, right, this test has assert deep equals and not assert equals as, as we usually do. And uh, if, if you know like a thing or two about JavaScript, uh, it is when you're comparing objects you then you are like directly comparing objects you are just comparing if the pointer is pointing to the same like space in, in the memory right it doesn't doesn't care if if like the properties are like the same it just cares if it's the same object like literally the same the same space in, in the memory it can't the same space can have like many pointers pointing to it uh, in this case we don't we don't actually care about that because obviously it's not going it's not going to be the same object because this object is right here right and this one is like created uh, given the list one it's it either modifies the list one or it creates a new object uh, it uh, it it like depends uh, it, like in this case it, it creates a new object but we actually have to do this deep equals and to do deep equals with chai is like super easy it's even easier <laughs> instead of equal you just write eql okay so that's deep equals also there's an alternative it's called to be deep dot equal but uh, they are exactly the same and this EQL works like much better for me. All right, so we have our test done 
uh, let's get to the main solution section. And I'm going to expand it, as always, delete everything, const create developers is equal to a function which has just one argument, so without any parenthesis, I'm like writing my argument, and what, what type of result we are expecting? We are expecting like exactly the same thing, just uh, every, every item has to be modified. So here comes into play like the second most useful function in uh, like the array on, on arrays called map. And list map is used to modify every single object on an array. Uh, I have, I am pulling out just this one value called, uh, called uh, v this time, right? I can pull out this value every single item, but what I'm actually doing, I am not only pulling it out, but I'm immediately destructurizing it. Okay, so I will be needing the first name, right? Because first name, let's check, see there's a first name, and we have to use it. We have to use uh, hi, Sophia, would you, uh, what do you like most about, and the language is Java, right? So that's, that's how it's supposed to look like. So I need first name and I need language, right? So having that, I am returning. Uh, what, what will I be returning? I will be returning the same object, right? but it will be a little bit modified. So here comes the object assign. And if you, if you worked with like React or Redux or whatever, uh, you, you, you might know that usually what you do is you do object assign, then immediately put this, em this empty object and then just do other, other things. In this case, we don't actually need to create a bunch of new objects. We can extend the existing object because we don't care about modifying, uh, modifying the original array, right? We don't care about that. Should we? Uh, we might care. So if, if you care about it, you just give it an empty object. I won't be need doing that uh, because for this kata, it's, it's like overkill. Right? You don't, don't have a reason to do that. And I'm extending my original array, right, with this new greeting. And yeah, I just realized that if you want to do that, you, just, you have to like, you cannot do this like destructured export, right? Sorry about that. So uh, I am just pulling out item instead of destructuring it uh, because I need to extend this whole thing, right? So extending that, fit this new object and I'm giving myself a little bit more space. So I'm extending this item that greeting property and here we are going to use the template strings and template strings are just like absolutely great and in this case they, they, they will make it like very very easy. So hi then inside the template string I have uh, this variable v dot first name right then I have a comma, what do you like the most about and then the language, the dot language, right? Also don't forget the question mark. 
and uh, let me think, is that it? I think that that is it. I'm pretty sure that is it. Uh, yeah, so just uh, I forgot that we, we have to extend the actual object so you cannot destructure it immediately. Otherwise, you could have avoided this part like first name and uh, v dot first name. It will be, it would have been just first name. All right, let's check it. Uh, all right, doesn't look good. Oh, because I, I am using not v dot first name, I'm using item. My bad, I am just so used to naming this item v as value. I do that automatically sometimes. All right, looks like the test the test has passed, but let's try the official tests. And excellent, they all have passed. So I hope you liked it. I hope you learned something. And see you in the next kata. Bye, friends.